All right, folks. Here we are. I opened up the main pocket. So you can see I carry a few things with me. We got three pockets here. On the door, we got top pocket, middle pocket, and right here, that's another pocket right there. One humongous pocket. And I leave plenty of space to put in clothes and extra food. So I can still store about two to three days worth of clothes in here. And I will start unloading it and get back to you. Alright, on the first top pocket you saw on the flap, I have wet ones, nail clipper, an empty little bottle for anything that I might need, cotton balls, and on the outside I attach uh, my fork and spoon. That's the first top pocket. Alright, on the food here, this is, uh, I carry a little bit of things with me. Not my whole food supply, just because I don't carry a lot of things with me on the bag. So that way I can pack clothes, so I do take this whole gear set up with me whenever I travel. On a vehicle, that is. Just due to the handgun part. I don't carry any of this stuff with me on an airplane. Alright, I'll show you what I got in here. Got a couple of special K bars, a spam single, granola bar. In the back you have some coffee mix and some Arnold Palmer mix. One pack of ramen noodles, a pack of gum, a Twix, and a couple of Cliff bars. That's all I carry. As this is not my regular food storage for a bug out bag. This is just that I carry with me. I had extra space. That is the second pocket. So you can see it open there. It's the second pocket on the outside flap. Alright, this is the small bottom pocket on the outside flap. And like I said before, I do take this bag with me when I travel. It's not only built as my bug out bag, but because I built it to where I can keep a lot of clothing with it, so I do travel with it because it's basically, you know, a three day bag where I know that I'll be safe if I do get stranded on the road, but I also have it built to where I can just load up clothes and bug out with it. Alright, showing the bottom pocket on the outside flap. I carry a washcloth with a small travel size of body wash, toothpaste, deodorant, toothbrush, and of course some toilet paper. As I'm not too fond of using leaves unless I really have to. That is the bottom pocket on the inside of the flap. Alright folks, this is the main part of the backpack compartment unloaded. And now we'll go through with the kitchen stuff here. I'll go ahead and detail that in a second. So I'll start off with the two Kelty packages. Those are two compression bags. A smaller one and a bigger one. That is a Shimog. Small container of dried rice. The MSR bag that you see there, that is my sweet water purification system, and that's how I just purify all my water. I don't carry water. That is a small tarp, makeshift shelter. And depending on the time of the season, I'll either carry the thermal bivy in the back, the bigger one, or just the regular bivy. That is a raincoat and a belt. I carry the belt just so that way I can use it as a tourniquet if I need to or to hold up my pants, you never know. That is the main compartment. Okay folks, this is the cooking items that I use. I'll go ahead and break those down for you. Alright folks, I went ahead and spread everything out. As you can see there's a lot of things there and that all packs into my pot there. It all breaks down and packs into the pot and it sits inside the frying pan. Alright. I'll start with the the pot lid and the pot. That is the 1.1 liter MSR Alpine. It's the Alpine bowl. And that's the Alpine skillet. I carry a bandana. 
and a spatula and like a spoon and those break down in half so in the back area the orange liquid is dish soap and the white one is vegetable oil right next to it is a GSI salt and pepper shaker and right next to that uh, that is the GSI spice missile so I carry six different spices and a piece of foil you never know what you're going to need foil for like I said all of that packs up nice and neatly into the pot which the pot sits in the skillet and that sits in the main compartment and that weighs about 2.4 ounces or 2.4 pounds excuse me there you can see it, it's all packed up again into the pot and it's sitting in the pan and that will sit inside the bag alright folks I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little more in depth on the knives that I carry that first knife you see there is the silk up by SOG got a little bit of braided paracord on the end so it has a pouch on the outside on that pouch I carry a ferro rod and a sharpener I go to this side that is my Leatherman scale tool very light a couple of essential tools that you'll need above that I carry that in my pocket and that is the SOG Trident Teeny Blade above that is the K-Bar Kukri Machete alright folks this is just a quick detail of the survival kit that I carry with me. As you can see it there, there's a 6x6 six six pouch. The inside I carry two hooded ponchos. An Esbit stove has a backup stove for having a means of cooking. Got it loaded with tablets. Emergency blanket. That is Coleman water tablets. Above that is a bite and sting kit. Right next to that is sewing kit and an empty little sack just if you want to gather berries or whatnot when you're in the mountains you can put them in there that is the survival kit that I carry on the outside on the 6x6 mole pouch alright folks this is the first aid kit I'm not gonna go into it but just to give you a peek on it I will make a different video for that because there's so many items in that alone on the top outside pocket that I forgot to mention I do carry my compass which is a Sunto Global and a Zippo second way of line of fire on the Sunto I also have a way of line of fire I have a small magnifying lens and for signaling I got a mirror and that is the best compass that Sunto makes right there and that folks is the bug out bag and let me stress that this is not an everyday carry bag but because I do leave enough room for you know up to four days worth of clothes at some point I do carry it with me on trips but I do have a separate bag for an everyday carry bag and that'll do the video this is Southwest Survivalist signing off I hope you enjoy it leave your comments questions if you like it you know subscribe and uh, I will get back with you and that is again the Rush 72 bug out bag that I currently use. Thank you.